old speakers and phones, music toys, old radios and beat up microphones, strange kind of distortion and interferences effect. These kind of plugins are among my favorite. They're so fun to use and you can be so creative. It's your ear candies, your spices in a mix. You can make an element feel like it's coming from a broken radio or another room, but they are also great for TV and movies. Audio Thing just came out with a new one. It's called Speakers and it's really fun. It's got a lot of features. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mix Plus TV. Hope you're having a great day and stay safe out there. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, a brand new one, Mixing and Mastering Modern Rock was just released some days ago. Free plugin, discounts, special offers. And if you want to support the channel, you want more videos, but also access to exclusive content, including mixed consultations with me via Skype or email, click the join button down here. See all the perks of becoming a Mixed Bus TV member. Let's get to the video. Audio Thing speakers. This was love at first sight, not even a first try because I bought it just based on the GUI because I know I love these kind of plugins. Before telling you all the features that make this one special, let me play a couple of things with it. So you get the idea right away. This is a really, really cool plugin for special effects on vocals, loops, drums, guitars, intro bridges. And one way that I really, really like to use these kind of plugins is on the return of reverbs and delay to filter them, to make your bland, normal delay and reverb to sound really cool and unique. So let me show you some of the features of this plugin because you can use it as a whole as is intended to, but it also has some off-label uses, I find. Uh, for example, the distortion part here at the bottom has some really, really cool algorithms. The background noise is another thing that I could use. I could have a plugin, a standalone plugin just for that. Let's start taking a look at the first two main modules. Here we have the capture. So we have condenser mics, dynamics, miscellaneous, phones, ribbons, okay? And we can scroll some of them. Actually, let's bypass everything else so you can hear what each stage does on this vocal. We start and scroll in microphones. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Babe, it's nothing you did, so stop talking stupid. I really, really like, especially the old ones, are immediately give you a certain vibe. The second window is the reproduction system. So you capture with that mic and you reproduce with a bunch of cabinets for guitars, devices, boombox, electronic organ, uh, PA, megaphone, tape recorders, TV, phones, old phones, earbuds, old telephones, radios, which are really, really cool, speakers, piezo, um, speaker, broken speaker, cube, you will see the cube, it will look familiar, and also toys, which are super, super fun. And these two combined will give you any kind of weird bandwidth uh, paired with some sort of distortion, some resonances on certain frequencies, and they really help you position elements left and right, front and back in a mix. I really use these kind of effects a lot more than you would tell by listening to one of my mixes, because sometimes there are some track that are ugly and they are probably treated with one of these low fine plugins just to serve a purpose. For example, a center guitar on a double track guitar or a vocal that is stuck underneath the lead one. 
Let's see some of the speakers and some of the reproduction systems. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. You can bypass, of course, individually. So if you don't want any emulation for the capture for the microphones, you can only use the second part of the reproduction system. So I'll bypass that. But every little step just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Baby, it's nothing you did. So stop talking stupid. We gave it a taste, now it's done. I'm out for self-healing, you ain't got that feeling. So you have a big collection of all kinds of small speakers and toys and broken things and even guitar amps. Now one very important thing on this plugin to note is the routing. So you see here by clicking on the top right, you can change the routing of your signal. You can put the, for example, the mic first and then the distortion and then the speaker. You can put the compressor at the end. Then we have filters and noise that we didn't see. This will open up for every combination another 10,000. So the routing feature is really, really cool. At the bottom, we have the distortion. This is one of those modules that I could use as a standalone plugin. I could mute and uh, disable everything else and just use that one because it's really, really cool. So we have different types of distortion, carbon mic, classic diode clipper, foldover, soft drive, tape, and bulb. And then we have the degradation. This is another thing that I use so very often in mixes on so many things. Beat crusher, clicks, drops, GSM for the old phone effect. Uh, interference, that, that is one that I love because I love anything random in mixes, whether it's a background noise, whether it's a guitar or some imperfection in a solo or in a synth that is too perfect. Quantization, robotization, and telecom. Let me run this vocals through it. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Babe, it's nothing you did, so stop talking stupid. We gave it a taste, now it's done. I'm out for- You hear what I mean? Even just the tape and the valve and the soft drive are great, nice, subtle saturation for vocals or anything else. And then the degradation are really fun. All I ever wanted was to spin my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But a little stab just takes me further down. These are really, really cool, the drops for loops, for example. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. Stop talk. Okay, so really, really cool effect. Then the other model is the compressor. This is pretty simple. You have envelope yeah, and amount. We will try that on drums. It's actually pretty snappy if you set it in a certain way. Then we have a filter because whenever you apply distortion of some kind, filters are always, always very useful. Let's try, for example, with a fold over. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down. I found my fault waiting in the left and far. I really, really like the telecom and the interference. Those are the kind of effects that, especially if you want to drop the tension in your song a moment before the chorus explodes, you use this on one of the main elements and then you bypass it and it will give you that effect. The other module that I could use as a standalone plugin is the background noise. This is really, really cool. 
So let me take the degradation off. Why this background noise is so cool? Because you can have it normal as a background noise static, all right? Or it can follow the envelope. But the way it follows the envelope is very smart because you can have it either ducking when the signal, the dry signal is playing or the opposite. You can have the noise coming up only when uh, a vocal sings, a guitar plays. So either in between spaces or on top of the signal and then none when there's no signal. Let me show that to you. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. Now it's set when the voice singing to come up. But if I set it the other way around, it will always come up in the spaces. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse, spin your mind around. And it has so many different types, devices, computer, fan, freezer, fridge, the old GMS pulses. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. We have places, background noises like garden. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little step just takes me further down. I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found. Babe, it's nothing you did. Again, you have also noises like statics, and these can be really cool to add, for example, to a snare. You put one of the noises, one of the static, put the envelope in plus, so when your snare or clap hits, you add that static sound. It's a great way to add any sort of strange tail to your percussive material. Of course, you have an input, a dry and wet knobs to adjust the blend between affected and dry signal. You have a soft clip there. And for each one of the two main modules, you have a bunch of controls here that makes it really, really cool. So for example, the pitch, let me try them. So you have even more versatility to change the tone of uh, each one of the two modules because sometimes it happens you find the right filters but it's a little too mid forward. Uh, that's what happens to me most times. So with the pitch I can darken it a little bit, you can hear. The balance is a great way to position things in the mix and each one have an echo and feedback. This is a great use of parallel. Let's see this synth. You just add this filter and then slightly distorted sound here, and it's just more alive. You can use it on drums as well, for example, a drum loop.
you get the feeling this is a really, really fun plugin to play with. I love this stuff and they are very, very useful tool. Whether you have a very minimal arrangement and you can play with the sound automating all these uh, radio old uh, interference effects or you have a high track count mix and you need to tuck in things uh, but still make them audible. Tools like this one are a secret weapon, not that much of a secret since I showed several of them. Anyway, this is it for this video. This was Audio Things speaker. I bought it without even trying it and I'm super happy with it. Link is gonna be in the info box down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Follow Mixpest TV on Facebook and Instagram. We post a lot of exclusive things in there, including giveaways like Instagram only news, pictures, including my dragon. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and please hit the notification bell. It helps the channel a lot. Stay safe and see you next time.